Wow. Isn't this dude amazing? Look at those. I call them puppy teeth. Wow, dude. How awesome is this guy? I am very much a snake guy, but this is probably the coolest reptile, coolest animal I've ever owned. The smooth front caiman, also known as the Schneider's dwarf caiman. Obviously, before getting this guy, we had to do a ton of research. So if there's anything you're gonna learn from this video, do some research before you get any kind of alligator or crocodile, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you, you gotta make sure you have the room. If you click right here, you can see that I have them in a 55 gallon aquarium at the moment. That's only a temporary enclosure. I have a whole another enclosure that I were gonna put him in uh, in hopes that that will do uh, probably for the rest of his life. <laughs> but you never know, okay? These guys are, are, are known to get anywhere from about three and a half, four feet up to five, and you'll even see that uh, they can sometimes reach up to seven feet long and that becomes a very powerful animal, even at four feet, uh, you know, any kind of crocodile or alligator is a powerful, powerful animal. So before you think that these guys are awesome and you see them in the zoos or the pet stores and things like that, make sure you know what you're getting into uh, before you buy one of these guys. These guys are the second smallest caiman uh, or crocodilian that you can get only to the Cuvier's dwarf caiman. Uh, they're super intelligent. Uh, there's a lot of training and things like that that you can do uh, that involves uh, a lot of times feeding, but you know, in hopes that as he gets bigger, uh, taking a bite right now really isn't too bad, but you definitely don't want to take a bite from a four, five foot crocodile. So these guys require a lot of patience and a lot of time. I've had this guy for four weeks, so I'm gonna assume he's probably about eight to 10 weeks. You'll do a lot of research and you'll learn that uh, these guys cost anywhere from about 250 to $1,500. What I learned was is that the 250, 300, $400 uh, crocodiles that you can get are usually farm raised. Uh, they're, they're actually hatched in the wild and then they're brought in. So just be careful, just giving you a little tidbit of things I've learned because uh, they can carry parasites and things like that. Things to watch where the, the more expensive ones are bred in captivity, they're, the eggs are incubated. And so therefore you have a pretty healthy animal. I don't want to stress him out too much. He is exactly 12 inches long. Uh, we just measured him the other day. Uh, since we've had him, he's, he's been pretty docile. Uh, as you can tell, he even has his mouth closed. Uh, I'm just now kind of getting to the point where I'm trying to handle him a little bit more and a little bit more. Uh, obviously, his aquarium is out where everybody can see him. He's got those big old eyes, just pure vision, just aware of everything that's going on. One cool thing about him when you do get to watch him in their enclosure is uh, the caimans. Uh, have the ability to keep their eyes and their nose above water. So it's really cool because then they don't have to come up for a breath or any more. Literally all you'll see is the top of his eyes and his nose just sitting there on the top of the water just waiting for something to come by. But wow, look at this dude. I'm telling you, I'm that guy. I've seen these things in the wild for so long. Never did I think I'd have one in my house, uh, you know, trying to, to work with him. If you are new to him, uh, I actually have joined a lot of groups on Facebook and things like that. One big question that comes up is uh, the feeding. Uh, you'll see a lot that they say they, they're, they're just not eating or you can't, you, they can't get theirs to eat. Um, I tried something, I, I, I didn't know, I just went on a whim. And actually, if I've learned if I rub his mouth right there, <laughs> he'll, he'll bite me. But uh, a lot of times I can get him to kind of open his mouth just like that. And uh, we were able to take some tongs and put it in his mouth. Now they are very shy eaters. Okay, 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 I'll put you back. Yeah, I'll put you back. There you go, there you go. I brought out a little water dish just so I can have a good place for him to feel uh, safe. Um, but we, we would take the tongs and put the food in his mouth and then I would, <laughs> you can see, I just so gently uh, put him down on his platform. We would have to leave the room and like 10 minutes later, he would finally eat it. So don't get discouraged uh, if yours isn't eating because uh, they might not. You know, some people say that it might take a couple few weeks after you get them before they'll actually start eating. Uh, we've kind of got him to where he'll take it off the tongs, 
but haven't been great uh, successful with that. The cool thing about these guys is they're very nocturnal. They love to do things at night. They're very active at night. So uh, I have a little part in here where he likes to hang and hide. And actually I've left uh, some pinky mice and even kind of a, a fuzzy or a hopper, a hopper sorry, and, uh, and come down in the morning and it's gone, which is a really, really good sign. So, uh, so the feeding aspect of these guys uh, don't get discouraged. I still don't think I've even seen them use the bathroom in the three weeks we've had them, which is another thing uh, I've learned and read. Uh, the people just say, do not get discouraged about because they just, they just might not do it for a while. Uh, they're, very, uh, they're very shy, timid animals. They can become super stressed. As I've told you, I have uh, very rarely handled this guy until kind of maybe here recently. And even then, it's a um, it's very short period of time, which is kind of why I wanted to put him back in there because I do not want to stress this dude out anymore. But I wanted you guys to see him because this is the, <laughs> the coolest thing I've ever had. And I wanted you guys to know that. Uh, that but again, he might be the coolest thing I've ever had. But I did my research and I knew what I was getting into. So uh, I had to share them. I'm going to see if I can bring them a little closer. <laughs> hey, 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 it's all right. Doing my best. Uh, I try to get him to where he's calmed down just a little bit. I just want you guys to see this, this eye. Another awesome thing about these guys is they actually have uh, three eyelids. So they got the, the, the basic one, um, but they have a Another feature of an eyelid is so awesome that when they go underwater, it comes across their eyes, but it's super clear so that they don't lose any of their vision while they're underwater. It's, uh, it's really cool to see, especially when you have him here and he, he hides under the water when you come walking by. And you can see kind of his teeth uh, overlap his jaw right there. And it's crazy because their teeth are almost like transparent. They don't even look like real teeth because it's, it's about like you can look right through them. And let's see if I can... Just rub him right here and not, not bite me this time. <laughs> and he's like, dude, I'm had, I've, he's about had enough. So I'm, I'm not going to stress him out too much. And I think that's as far as I want to push it. But I, I did want you guys to, to see these, these teeth right there. Uh, if I can get up close. I mean, look at those. I call them puppy teeth. Uh, I've taken many bites from him so far. Um, and, and honestly, it's, it's nothing aggressive. It's just more like a, hey, I've had enough, put me down. But I hope you guys kind of found this uh, really cool. I'll do some more awesome videos of him as he grows and, uh, and gets bigger and hopefully uh, <laughs> grows to, sorry, and grows to, to love me instead of uh, wanting to take off my finger all the time. What do you think? You think we can do that? Huh? You think we can do that? Say, say bye. Okay, okay, okay. All right. There you go, buddy. I just wanted him to feel like he was hidden <laughs> underneath there. Yes, how awesome was that? Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm telling you I love this dude and I can't wait to use him uh, in so many educational ways uh, just to, to show others uh, the beauty of reptiles. I mean, this dude is amazing. I think he's gonna go great with all the friends you can kind of see around me. Just remember, uh, I'm taking a bite now. I don't mind it, uh, but this is another reason why they do not make good pets is uh, when they get older, the caimans might be a little shorter, but they have such powerful jaws uh, when they come down just from the things that they're, they're designed to eat in the wild. Uh, and he could easily do some damage as he gets bigger. So another reason why it doesn't make a good pet is that bite. Um, and they do, they require a lot of patience and training, not only them, but training yourselves on, on how to handle these guys. I'm a beginner, to be honest, when it comes to these dudes. I've done a lot of research. I feel extremely comfortable with these guys, but it doesn't mean everybody is. I mean, how awesome is that dude? It doesn't get any cooler than this in a reptile world. Wow, beautiful. Wow, that's all I can ever say when I see him, wow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a little something out of it. We're all in this together when it comes to some of these guys. But man, I'm telling you, it is the coolest thing you'll ever own when it comes to reptiles. But make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then you ring that bell. Ring that bell, baby. You hear it here first, right? Yes. I'm telling you. Make sure y'all do that. Follow us on this journey. Hope you have a wonderful day. See ya.